Hi, everybody. Welcome to number nine in our 52 ways to improve your hotel's revenues this year series. And again, I'm joined by Philippe Machaz here from Guest Centric. Hey, Phil, how are you? Hi, Jeremiah. How are you doing today? Doing really good. Um, and today we're talking about a really important issue for driving hotel revenues, which is reducing cost on pay-per-click advertising by increasing the click-through rate, the CTR. When you increase the click-through rate, you're able to get a, a really nice position for your ad at a lower cost than one of your competitors. That means you have more money in your ad budget. And when you have more money in your ad budget, you can do more ads so you can get more results. Plus, you've already shown Google that you're getting more relevancy. You're, you're giving people good offers. They're responding to them. So Google prefers you and you're getting more traffic. So before I jump into this, I want to put a sort of a human human frame on this whole thing. Marketing is not abstract. Marketing really just comes down to relationships. And good marketers are the people who know how to build relationships with people. Building relationships really comes down to one specific skill, which is consistency. And that means that when you when you say that you know you are this type of person, you follow through and you show that you're genuine. I mean, how many times have you heard people say, you know, I've seen him on stage and when I meet him in, when you meet him in person, he's exactly the same person, right? That's a compliment. And that's exactly what we need to do in our marketing. Let me give you an example. Let's give an extreme example. Say you pick up a girl, you, you take her out on a date and you say, hey, I want to take you to the movies. She says, cool. You pick her up in your car and you drive to your front door, right? That, that lady's going to say, wait a second, this is not at all what you said you were going to, or we were going to do. And she's going to bolt. It's the exact same way that if your pay-per-click ad says, for example, um, golfing special, and then you, you dump somebody on your homepage, well, you're not being consistent. And somebody's going to bounce away because they can't find what they're really looking for. And you just wasted your pay-per-click money. So I want to jump into this with you, Philip. Uh, what's what's your thoughts on being consistent with your pay-per-click marketing in terms of uh, landing pages, uh, booking engines, things like that? What are your thoughts? So I, I really like this subject. Uh, actually, we've, we've been touching a lot of subjects that I like, but I like this one too, because it, it's really connected with our mission, right? And our mission is to increase direct bookings, okay? Mm -hmm. So obviously we are doing something that will push people into the funnels and eventually we'll get more direct bookings. So that's why I think it's super important. So if you are using pay-per-click campaigns, if you are spending money in AdWords, okay, we need to make sure it's built right. Okay, but I, I, I like it and it's really important. And I, I also see a lot of people spending a lot of money and resources on, on campaigns. Mm -hmm. And they normally put this on higher priority, but they don't think uh, how can they optimize. They think about, okay, what are the keywords they optimize? Google, they, they give a ton of uh, free tools for you to optimize the keywords. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you are not getting the relevant traffic, right? So you really need to make sure you get relevant traffic mm -hmm. and you need to make sure that when you get that traffic on, it's in, you have consistency, right? So it's like what you are talking about, like, okay, consistency law. So you need to, to go from A to Z uh, and, and you, you need to tell your story, right? It's not like okay, you are selling a golf package at the booking at the the click uh, the the AdWord campaign, mm -hmm. and then you go to the to the website and you cannot even find the golf page, right? Yeah. So there's some golf relationship that you need to bring immediately when someone clicks that ad. Yeah. Um, so I really like the the concept of okay, let's 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 show. Uh, consistency, showing consistency and showing a flow will remove complexity of the booking path, okay, of the journey, of the of the guest journey, and eventually that will increase direct bookings and it, it increase the ROI, obviously of the of the money that you are spending, mm -hmm. okay. So so that's why I really like the so the the more optimization can you do in terms of the flow in terms of the funnel, in terms of the consistency, the better ROI you'll get 
um, and the better return of investment you get. Um, and obviously, you'll increase direct bookings, and that's kind of like our mission. But let me just, uh, before you, you jump in, I think it's really important to make sure we get it right at the website level before we spend money on AdWord campaigns. I'll show I'll give you an example. If yeah. you have, uh, let's say, um, an, an AdWord campaign for like, oh, um, play golf with us, stay, us with us, stay with us and play golf, right? And then you go to the website and you see a very poor golf picture with the old uh, uh, golf, do you understand? So you kind of really need to bring that well, up. Plus, plus free, free caddy. Right, play golf with us plus free caddy, right? And if they if they go to the website and they they can't find that free caddy, right? Then and it's it's great. not it's even before that, right? So it's yeah. like okay, uh, I'll give you an example of an hotel here in San Diego. Hey, stay with, uh, come and uh, book with. Uh, um, uh, visit Comic Con 2018 and book with us. And then you go to the promotion and you see an ugly, not ugly, but you see like a old style room. You kind of need to show a Star Wars uh, image, do you understand? Just to connect with someone, do you understand? So you kind of need to try to understand what these people, like you look at, you, cre you need to create like, the, okay, this persona, right? Mm -hmm. They want to, they are looking for fun. They are looking for Star Wars. They love all this scene right so we kind of need to bring that into the booking engine and well, into the of, website that's kind of mid bottom funnel uh what what i what i was mentioning is something on the top of the funnel that's going to increase our click-through rate sure would be, would be visit comic-con plus free late checkout okay right? so that's top of the funnel then they go to the landing page and they sure they're searching for that free late checkout. And if they're, they're not sure that they're going to get it, they hesitate to book. Yeah, agree? but my point is when they go to the website, and I think mm -hmm. I'm totally aligned with you, they need to see the Star Wars image, right? If you exactly. put, if you put a, like a old style, whatever place, like a, you need to connect, right? So it's kind of like, okay, right. this is my I Star Wars fan. <laughs> yeah. Right. So not, this is... Not, Door, yeah. Yeah. So it's like you 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 pick a girl, you invite her to go to the movie. You need to to understand what kind of movie she likes, right? You are not going to take her to the wrong movie <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at your place. Um, anyway, that's why I like it, right? Because it's very connected and 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 it kind of improves the funnel and mm -hmm. obviously it improves direct bookings and and the ROI. That's why yeah. I like it. Okay. And then when they are on that landing page. That's really where that the page becomes a part of the, the qualification process. That's where they find the option that, that really suits them best. Right? Exactly. So I think the, the one of the bigger mistakes of the industry, I'm talking about e-commerce, digital marketing industry in general, they separate website from booking engine or from e-commerce generally. Mm -hmm. um, and they should be totally in sync, in, in sync, right? So if, again, if you build the, I'm not talking about AdWords now, but obviously we can move that into a different dimension. But uh, if you build the Comic-Con uh, uh, promotion, okay, you, you really need to make sure you bring that promotion into your website. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. With the same type of images. So we say, okay, the Comic-Con, Typical client is this guy who likes uh, whatever uh, the 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 um, the the scene, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so we kind check. of we we need to we need to bring that into the into into the website, and eventually we need to bring that into the click through campaign. So let's say now we start at the AdWords, like stay with us for. Right, right. Comic Con, Comic -Con. right? Yeah. Stay with us for Comic Con. We click there. We go to the to a Comic Con landing page. We say we we can have different types of packages. Like okay, um, mm -hmm. stay with us and get a free 
costume like star wars costume or stay with us and or you understand so you can do packages based on whatever maybe comic com is not a good example but let's say you are doing some kind of um, adwords for cooking experiences right mm -hmm. so okay do you want to learn how to cook thai do you want to learn how to cook so you can you can start the booking engine process so you're kind of like pushing you're already filtering and removing complexity and yeah. it's kind of like a booking engine right so it's like okay what do you want to do do you want to learn how to cook thai do you want to learn how to cook sushi do you want to learn how to cook and based on that selection you say okay this is what we have available um yeah. do you understand so so we use the landing page as a booking process path so so what you're saying is that uh you know they have those three options thai you know, Mexican, Indo, and they click on that. And that, that link is now a deep link to the booking engine so that they go to the booking engine and there's nothing else. There's exactly. just that, that one option, which is to go forward. So in, in that way, you're basically saying that when somebody clicks on the pay-per-click ad, they don't go to your front door. They go to the movies. Yeah. Let's, let's, and, let's, and then when they go to the movies, you know, they can click on one of the three buttons that 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 then gives them not the front door again, but the front door of your booking engine, but the, the actual thing that they wanted. And that's exactly. the consistency. And and it's just if you let, let's 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 get the uh, let's get back to uh, let me give you an example. It's like the same as okay, I'm at the Amazon. Okay. And I see okay, I'm going to buy um, a cell phone. Okay, and I am browsing the cell phones, blah, 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 very nice cell phones. I say, okay, I like this iPhone 6 or whatever, 7. I click on the iPhone 7 mm -hmm. and then I, I click add to cart. And then, okay, now I go to the cart and now I have to select the iPhone, like, but already selected the iPhone 7 before. Yeah. Why do I need to select? So it's exactly the same. So what happens in most of the, um, most of the hotels, it's that, you are showing the hotel mm -hmm. and then you show your promotions. Okay. You have the Comic Com, the Valentine's, blah, blah. Stay with us for 10 days and you get a discount. So you can have like 10 promotions. Mm -hmm. And then you click on the book now button and you go to the booking engine and suddenly you have like 10 promotions. Like, come on, but I already selected the promotion right. before. And it's right. exactly so. Put a layer on top. It's even, uh, it's even worse, right? So you say, Come to Comic Con. You go, you go to the and and you go to the website. You see a bunch of promotions, and then you say, what "Okay, I want the Comic Con one." And then you go to the website to the booking engine and say, "Okay, but I already it's the third time that I'm telling I want to go to Comic Con." Do you understand? And yeah. the website it's not communicating. So it's all about consistency and having the pieces of technology to communicate with each other. And so we just have a couple minutes left. So what are the easy ways to get started doing this? So, in my opinion, the first thing that you need to do is to, um, before you do the AdWords, okay, just create landing pages, okay? And you should create landing pages around the attractions or around the promotions that eventually you would do, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, so and that would somehow help you in terms of search engine optimization. So, you create a bunch of pages, could be like 10 pages, 20 pages, who cares, right? So, you yeah, really need... You really need to control the pages will be there, so no, they will not harm anyone. So they will they will only benefit you, and they will increase your visibility as a company, um, as an hotel in this case. So you should create landing pages as much as necessary. Uh, I don't really care, and then you need to make sure you have visibility. I see a lot of hotels that they don't see the Google Analytics or any type of analytics. So they, they need to make sure you see that uh, analytics. So you see the conversions, right? Um, and then the next step, it's to connect. So not all the technology, like not all booking engines allow you to connect with specific uh, offers. Mm -hmm. So if your booking engine allows deep linking, you should use that. So if you go to the Comic Con one and say, oh, the great Star Wars, you can put the movie from last Comic Con 2017. It's like an, a nice landing page. So, so with, with the useful information and you can say there, book, book now your Comic Con, whatever, pass. 
and you can have different options, right? If they have offer different flavors of the of uh, that promotion, and you mm -hmm. click on the booking engine, you go to the booking engine um, with um, with that promotion selected. Okay, so it's important to to look also at Google Analytics, especially if you are doing pay per click campaigns, to mm -hmm. see if uh, where where do they bounce right if they bounce at the booking engine level or if they bounce at the the website level so mm -hmm. it's important to set up everything with google analytics otherwise you'll end up spending a fortune and you would know like oh i spent i don't know one thousand dollars and i had five reservations so you can go deeper than that and uh, so next time when you do some ads you kind of filter and understand and try to nail down your logic behind your PPC campaigns. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and just one small copywriting tip: um, use the same images in the booking engine, landing page, and for that pay-per-click or social media ad that you put out there. That also provides a lot of reassurance to people that they're actually going to get the free, the free caddy or the the free late checkout. It really, really. Uh, puts them at ease, so to speak. Uh, do you have any last words you want to add? I think this is really important um, to compete with the OTAs. OTAs do this all the time, right? So they have the money to spend on AdWords and they kind of like, and, and it's interesting to see that they normally spend AdWords, let's say, oh, stay at the IAT in, in San Diego. Do you understand? So they are just trying to get someone they don't care if you book with IAT or with yeah. the, the Keating or the gas amp. So they are just trying to get someone that will go to San Diego. So when they when they are at their website, they don't care if it's because at the same time they market different hotels. They say, oh, you're at the IAT, but if you perform more uh, boutique, you have the Keating, <laughs> or you have one year with a very low whatever. If you are on a budget, we have this start this hotel that's super cheap, or if this is great for families. Do you understand? So they are always concerned about. But I believe if you do a good job on, and if you have the money to spend on on AdWords, you should try. Obviously, not going for generic uh, uh, like hotels in San Diego doesn't really work. Mm -hmm. You should go and try the long tail, so mm -hmm. it's cheaper, and you can do these landing pages, and you can really tap into the persona that is clicking on the on the ad. Yeah, long, long tail, really tap into the persona. Make sure that 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 pay per click ad speaks to them. The landing page speaks to them, and the booking engine speaks to them with the same voice. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. It's all about the you have to you have to you have to go to the right movie, right? Otherwise, you are not going to <laughs> get the second date. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's that's a great place to end. Thank thank you so much. Uh, as as always, if anybody would like to continue this conversation, please leave a note in the video. Uh, right right in the links or the comments right below this video, or where can they get in touch with you, uh, Philippe? So they can always email me to Philippe, F-I-L-I-P at guestcentric.com. I'm always available to talk and we can we can do some work and uh, the smaller and bigger hotels, we can, actually, um, we can actually provide technology to support all these, uh, this, um, this I call it a game, right? Because we are kind of like trying to get bookings from the OTAs. So you got, exactly, <laughs> human relationships, dating. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and also, you know, if you want to kick around ideas with us uh, on LinkedIn, we have a group called More Direct Bookings. So if you want more direct bookings, that's that's where we kick around ideas. And until next week, um, thank you so much, Philip. I really appreciate your insight. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care. Bye, everybody.